Connor Hayes, we're here in Galway, Salt Hill. Is there much anticipation, much excitement after the victory over Kilkenny? Oh, there is, yeah. I think you know the expectations weren't that high going into the game, and you know to win the way they did and win a Leinster title on top of it, it, it has really catapulted Galway into the championship. They've gone from from zero to heroes now, and it, 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 we're trying to keep a lid on it at this stage. You know, a lot of a lot of hype around and a lot of expectation from them now. Now that they've beaten Kilkenny. When you say they were zero, you were one of the men uh, laying a lot of criticism on them a few months ago. Do you feel now that that was justified or do you feel now that they've got here by luck or by design? Oh, I think they've... I think, I think, well, I, I was critical of them because they weren't playing well. I felt they weren't playing well. I felt they weren't... They didn't look to be organised. They didn't look to have a structure to their team. They were, you know, taking off players, putting on players, switching, changing. And it wasn't really until they came to the two games against Dublin that they really had to win. And Joe Canning came back and I think that was one of the crucial aspects of it. He put a huge structure, especially on the forward line, and uh, from then on they started to, to move well. Didn't play that awfully well against, against uh, Westmead or, or awfully, but still I could see, in fairness, they conceded a few goals against both teams, but I, I never felt that they were in a, in a panic situation. I always felt that they were in control, and from that, from then on, you know, I, I always felt they score enough to win the game against Kilkenny. I was worried about their backs, but the ball never came down to their backs. It was as simple as that against Kilkenny, you know. So it's been a, it's been a slow build up for them, you know. But they caught Kilkenny cold. But in fairness to them, they when they did catch them cold, you know, they put them out. Do you feel that the management deserve credit then, that they maybe had it a master plan all along? Well, I don't know how they master plan. I think that Anthony Anthony was trying to bring in a lot of the younger players and maybe try to blood too many of them through the league. And, you know, was chopping and changing maybe a bit too much. And that was the main criticism I had, particularly of management. But of players themselves, I felt that they weren't they weren't playing the game that I I know a lot of these players and I see them playing in club day in day out and I just felt that they weren't playing up to their up to the potential that they can play to and you know it wasn't until they came against Kilkenny but I don't know was it a master plan but I think they kept themselves very quiet coming into the Kilkenny game you know they they moved through the the Westmead and Offaly games quite well and then you know built them up for the Kilkenny game built them up very well and and it has to be said as I said caught Kilkenny a bit cold but you know did take full advantage of that. 24 years since you were the last Galway man to lift the Liam McCarthy Cup. I'm sure that hurts you that it's been that long. Do you think now that they can go on and win it? Well, I think they'll never get a better chance as uh, I think Kilkenny have been weakened, you know, obviously by the loss of players from last year, obviously by the amount of injuries that the players have built up themselves and the amount of mileage that's on the clocks as well. They just cannot be as good as they were, you know, three, four, five, six years ago. But that said, they're still as they're still there. Tipperary are still there. Cork are still there. And Galway are still there. I think Galway have a great chance, but they just need to take it. Uh, I think game by game, really. And uh, you know, they can't look any further than the semi-final against Cork. Well, do you think they'll beat Cork if they play up to the form that they played uh, against Kilkenny? I think they will. Cork to me looked. Uh, they're, they're quite a good team, but they're, they're again they're a developing team. Uh, Jimmy Barry has has had a great chance through the qualifiers to build up his team have a look at them and he probably will have his best team on the field against Galway and they will be a threat to Galway but I think I still think Galway I just feel that Galway have a, have have a, have that uh, capacity to come out again and they won't play as well as they did against Kilkenny but you know anything somewhere somewhere near that should be good enough to beat Cork and going on to the second semi-final Tipperary or Kilkenny the way you're talking about Kilkenny reminds me a little bit of of Kerry maybe on the way down a little bit, yeah. And I think, uh, uh, funny enough, we're talking about Kilkenny in this way. Was, we've never spoken about them like this before. It's the first year that they've really seemed to be rattled. But they've come back well against Limerick. Uh, Tipperary, on the other hand, I don't think Tipperary have played their best game yet either. They've been improving. It's difficult to know. I'd still, I still, I always feel that Kilkenny have that little bit more in reserve. Uh, it's a big game for both sides. It's a big game for Declan Ryan. It's a very, very big game for Brian Cody and all that he's won. A little bit of pressure coming back on him, believe it or not, from his own. You know, that you hear it down in Kilkenny now, it's over to Brian now to see what Brian can do with them. I mean, it's amazing with all he's won, that little bit of pressure coming back on him again. But he'll relish that. And, you know, he's putting in a little bit of a siege mentality as well, which will suit him. I think Kilkenny might just shade that one. So it sounds like Kilkenny against Galway in the final. Imagine that. I yeah. <laughs> know who to win that. Uh, that. We'll talk about that again, I think. You know, that Kilkenny will have a... If that's the case and... You know, it's a distinct possibility. Uh, you know, Kilkenny will have a, a, a revenge mission on that day. It's going to, it'll make a very, very interesting final. Repeat the Leinster final. Uh, be very interesting.
you don't mind if somebody else from Galway gets their hands on that cup. Oh, I don't you love to see it. I'd love to see it. It was great to see Fergal Moore lifting the the, the the cup in the in the Leinster final, you know. It was great to see a Galway man lifting the cup. It's great to see us winning leagues as well down through the years, but like really the big one is the All Ireland. It'd be great to see a Galway, Galway man lifting that. You know, there's there's great interest in Hurling. We've been winning under twenty ones and minors for the last few years and the last since we've won the last time, but we just haven't won the senior. It'd be great to get our hands on that cup. So it would.